Okay, so we're doing Scorpio 2. Um, you guys were born from November the 2nd to the 11th, okay? Um, it wouldn't surprise me if most people, most Scorpios who are watching this fall into this category. Um, because this deacon of Scorpio is more interested in the esoteric uh, than the other two deacons, all right? Scorpio 2, um, I'm going to get a number for you. Scorpio 2, please. 10, nice. Another 10. An 11. Uh, karmic justice. It could have some a good legal decision on its way. Another 11. Flanked by a 2 and a 2. Beautiful. Uh, really good numbers. Okay. Scorpio, this time we're going to use the Witch's Tarot as the main um, <clears throat> deck. And what I'm thinking about doing, because this has worked for me. Oops. Okay, this card is important. What is this? Again, Seven of Bows, Seven of Wands. So you could be, um, it could be a fire sign. Um, however, that's uh, Mars in Leo. Um, Mars is, is in your chart as well. But this deacon is um, influenced by Pisces, okay? Um, right, it's got more of a Pisces influence than it does have a Mars influence. What am I doing? Um, what I'm going to do, <clears throat> I know what I was going to do. What I'm going to do is I'm going to lay out the entire Celtic cross at, wow. So there's, this reading is going to be about love and it's looking really good already. We've got the Empress and the Two of Cups. All right. I'm going to lay out the entire Celtic cross um, when I feel that we're ready, all right? Scorpio Deacon 2. Scorpio Deacon right now. Okay. Somebody is losing a heck of a lot of sleep. Either that or you're involved with the Gemini. <laughs> okay, so the issue is the Page of Pentacles. Um, a, I mean, I'm seeing some earth in this. Um, I'm seeing three earth cards here, all right? Um, I'm seeing Taurus, I'm seeing Capricorn, and I'm also seeing Virgo. But anyway, um, the, if, if that's not the case, the issue is starting a new cycle with somebody that's actually stable. Um, the challenge is, will the person wait? I have to find out what they're waiting on. Somebody has invested emotionally in you, or you have invested emotionally in somebody else. Um, the, there's, a, um, there's a period of waiting here, okay? What's possible in this reading is the Ten of Cups, which is fantastic. Okay, that could be a Pisces. That's Mars and Pisces, but there's also Earth and Fire and Aquarius in this reading. There's some Sagittarius and Pisces. All right. I want to clarify um, Saturn and Taurus, please, as the challenge. Can we clarify this waiting, this person who's waiting? Yes, we can. Oh. <laughs> um. I feel like you're waiting for something to come to light. You could be waiting on a Leo, or a Leo could be waiting on you. I'm going to get one more clarification card um, for that person who's waiting in the sun. Um, can we have one more card to bring together Saturn and Taurus? This is, geez, this is your soulmate. Just a moment. 
Yeah, this could be about a Capricorn Scorpio. Um, or you could be waiting for the other half um, of information that you need. Okay. Um, in the recent past, there was a sudden change, a sudden good change. I'm going to clarify that card. That's the Wheel of Fortune. Why is the Wheel of Fortune in the recent past? I feel like, yeah, um, look, this has, to, I believe this has to do with the Sag because the Wheel of Fortune is related to Sag and Pisces. But then we have the um, Page of Wands. So I feel like what you realized um, in the past, someone that you thought was going to walk away didn't. They came back um, and they're up for it. Okay, they have passion for you. Um, the subconscious energy is that of turning something down in haste. Uh, it's moon and cancer. Can we clarify moon and cancer, please, as the subconscious? Sorry, Scorpio. We're clarifying uh, moon and cancer as the subconscious energy. What is this doing here? Yeah. So this could have to do with an Aquarius. Um, it's somebody who kind of snuck off, okay, um, in haste. I'm just going to get another card for this. Yeah, now they want to come back and apologize. This could be a Pisces or an Aquarius. Um, okay, so can we clarify the Ten of Cups up there? Can we clarify the Ten of Cups crowning your reading, please? Can we clarify the Ten of Cups crowning Scorpio? Yeah, okay. So this was someone who previously left you out in the cold, but now they want to offer stability. This person may be a bit controlling. All right. In the very near future, I can tell you exactly what's going to happen. It's beautiful. Somebody who did not express emotion previously is just going to let it spill out. Okay. Um, and, and there's another ace, um, you know, as the, um, as the tool. This is coming in. This is coming in. The outside forces, again, is a very, very, very stable card. This is the second time I've seen the emperor in your reading. Okay? Um, so an Aries could be involved, or it's ultimate stability, and it's someone, it's a no-frills king. Okay? Um, you're fearing being stabbed in the back. Um, you're fearing the, <laughs> I don't know, you either want the end of a toxic cycle or you're fearing uh, betrayal. <clears throat> now, there could be an Aquarius as your outcome. I need to clarify the Five of Swords as the outcome here. Can we clarify the Five of Swords as the outcome for Scorpio 2? This could be Sagittarius. I'm seeing the King of Wands again. Um, <clears throat> oh, okay. That is related to the outcome. Whatever just fell to the floor. Yeah, okay. So what's happened could also be Capricorn. Somebody has been going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Okay? They may have been juggling you. I'm going to get something from Wildwood. All right? And then I'm going to get something... <clears throat> From the um, from the witch's tarot, can we clarify <clears throat> the five of swords and the two of pence is the outcome, please? What is this person ultimately going to do? It's important. Oh, this is really nice. Six of cups. So I'll tell you why this is an incredibly beautiful outcome. So basically, somebody that you thought was engaging in trickery, they might have been sneaking off, they might have been juggling you and someone else. Um, <clears throat> there is going to be, this is your soulmate, and there's going to be a reunion between you guys. This is the Six of Vessels. It's also known as the Six of Cups. It is also your card. The, the card of the second Deacon of Scorpio is the Six of Cups, and there it is. I am going to be brave enough to check the bottoms of the decks. I can't believe this. Unbelievable. Victory. Six of Wands. Shall we be brave and check the bottom of the other deck? I'm going to be brave. Hopefully I won't ruin the reading. What is it? Ooh, is this four of bows, four of wands. This is stability. 
Scorpio 2. This is a beautiful reading. I don't know if it's with another Scorpio, an Aquarius, a Capricorn, a Pisces, or a Sag. Um, it just lo looks incredible. It could also be with an Aries. Um, <clears throat> but I think you'll be able to figure it out by um, just listening in. That was a really nice, quick, simple reading with a very, 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 um, a very uh, clean um, storyline. Would you like to know who your lifelong spirit guide is? Just gonna, sometimes it doesn't work. Can we have, can we have Scorpio's two, Scorpio two's lifelong spirit guide, please? Just a message. <clears throat> Find these cards hard to shuffle, but I'm gonna try. Do they have to say? Okay, here, there they are. Wow, opportunity and change. There she is. So that is a beautiful, beautiful message. Something new is coming. Beautiful, and remember the Wheel of Fortune was in your reading. That's just incredible. Okay, thank you, Scorpio 2. I hope you enjoyed it. Sorry it was so short, but it was pretty clear.